guys you see me here cleaning my room it was a pretty busy week for me we had a visitor coming although i keep my house pretty clean throughout the week so i didn't have to do much but hey you know just the norm dusting sweeping mopping it never stops right reorganizing my pantry is going to be on my do list this summer Eventually, I will get it done and share the final touch with you all on another video. So I believe it was on the same day that I held a hair consultation on Zoom. It is the norm now. We recently opened up the shop to style the hair, but not for the consultation as of yet. So we hold them on Zoom. Clients were so ready to schedule. And me on the other end, I was so eager to schedule them. Heading to the shop now and I have so much things I'm carrying. You have your mask, you have your keys. You don't only remember just your car keys, but everything else. It's crazy. Here is Miss Elisa. She is one of my favorite clients she keeps me going her style very simple it is still in the summertime so she goes swimming a lot it is a style for that definitely low maintenance for her here comes another client right after this one took a while about up to seven hours it is single braids with extensions it came out so good. I forgot to take a picture of the finished look. But you can see the braids here. She wanted three different types of hair color. It came out beautiful. I'll see if I can find any old pictures because it is her second time doing the same style. If I found one, I'll post it somewhere on the screen. You know how we do it, ladies we can get so talky talk when we get our hair done so maybe that's why it took me so long to finish good positive vibes at the shop Marie here and this is Nay aka Ayana. Talk about parents, Haitian parents on here. I know but I can talk to you about Haitian parents. Who's the mother? What is this video about? This video is why do I have a mushua on? This video is about Haitian parents. We're the best. Who's the parent here? Me. <laughs> Tell me about Haitian parents. Oh, I have a lot. We're wonderful, beautiful. Number people. one, what Haitian parents do. When she's on the phone with her friends, like she's so loud. Like, hello? Yes? We? Oui? Yes? Mm -hmm. On the other line, does the same thing too because they just be so loud on the phone. <laughs> like, I'd be like, why is you so loud on the phone? All right, so she got that right. We are See, loud people. Loud. So number two, that Haitian parents, what's what your Haitian moms do? Um, they raised us um, strict. <laughs> How strict. So like over at our friend's house or can we do this to this? And they were need to go and sleep over some, somebody's house. You have a house to stay. Hey mommy, translate it, say it in Creole. Why do you want to sleep in somebody's house? You have you have a house. Pookie saw this and don't be like I'm one. But me, I don't really mind. They get used to it. Oh my yeah. youngest one, <laughs> they don't even ask. 
Okay. Don't so, listen to her. So number three <laughs> is also oh, any questions. See, so we're like, where you going? Who you got to? Who you this? Who you this? Who you that? So many questions. When I get out of work and I want to do something with my friends, I call her. She won't be worried. Ask way too much. Too much questions. That's what they do. They ask too much questions, but however, it's for your own security. Or anything. I normally contact my parents to tell them, like, this is what I'm doing so that they can know in the back of their mind that I'm okay. You're out and about. about. Don't come home late. The only time I come home late is, like, work. But if I'm going out with my friends, I always make sure I tell my parents what's going on and what time I'll be back so that they can know. Because even myself, if I'm running late, I will mm -hmm. call them and tell them, like, I won't be home at this my time. regular time, but I will be there. So as an adult, I do the same thing, too. It's just like, to me, communication is very important. What Haitian parents do? Parents. Ass. See, she's even laughing. It's not even ah. Asian. But no, but I feel like, no. Ass. So, okay. <laughs> so, listen, guys. Let me just clean my throat so yes. I can talk. And then I'll clean my throat so I can tell you my side. All right. You have a child, right? You're laying on your bed. So, you want that child to bring you some water. They don't like that. We ask too much. Not we. I ask too she much. She asks. See, she even says it. My dad barely asks. <laughs> but she asks too much. But, okay. But the thing is, me, there's certain things okay. Okay, we can do and all that. But there's like a time where my mom would have a charger very close to her. <laughs> <laughs> she calls me from the other side and I'm minding my business on my phone. She'd be like, Oh, Ayana, can you come here, please? Get me the charger so I can charge my phone. I'm like, Mommy, the charger's right next to you. <laughs> why, why did you ask me to get a whole charger if it was right next to you? Malone. What is Malone? So it's like when my parents, or especially my mom, because my mom's the one that asks a lot. So when she asks me to do stuff, I obviously go right ahead and do it. But yeah. They all do the same thing too. Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, and then the food is right there. And because you are mother, yeah, because you like, are you're supposed, my child, you're supposed to feed your kids, and you are supposed to do some stuff no. for me. No, you're supposed to feed us. She, she's supposed to bring me some water. <laughs> oh goodness! Right. That's true. We work together, so. But. So now I'm going to ask a question. Who's the mother here? <laughs> well, another thing, another one is, I feel like this will be my last one, but I feel like it's all Haitian parents that does it, but like they will mix Creole and English together. It's not even about <laughs> Haitian parents, I believe it's just in, like general. in general. Even Spanish people does it too. When you know multiple languages, especially if you're talking to someone who understand the second language. Yeah. Like I don't do that with the, my American friends. You know who to do it to. So from the last video, let me just explain this because we have two ferrets and we have two dogs. Our younger one is trying help us to beat ah! the fear. Have to help my mom beat the fear. We're gonna try. I'm first. Yeah. And I'm- And I am second. Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, because I'm even scared. <laughs> Open up your arms. Open up your arms like this. Now, guys, I'm just here just to help my mom be her fear. But I. Okay. Okay, I'm done. No, mom. Fine, hold on, fed him, man. I think that's the most I can do. You don't hold I'm like a big him. baby. Jay, can you help me? I'm asking my husband. I really do want to beat that fear. Ha! He is the last person to ask to beat your fear. He did not help here. Are you ready again?
Okay, yeah, I'm done. So, guys, um, we'll see you guys in the next video. We got a fierce fit in so, this yeah. video. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, wait, save, Hopefully, save, you save, guys will see you see us go in back. the next video. No, wait. But right oh. now, we are having a mental breakdown. So, bye, guys. <laughs> yeah, leave. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, I'm leaving. No, Okay. Okay. Put him in the okay. No. No. Yes. Wait. Yes. Cause now hold his butt. Okay, that's not. I don't want him to hang like that. See, I did it. So I got him. This is not even funny. Okay, wait, wait. He's so tired. It's okay, I'm done. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> to be proud of you. Um, what did I do? I was running. I was screaming like a maniac. Baby. <laughs> Guys. The closest animal that I can be close in this family is the dogs. All, All right, right, guys. That is it. Don't forget to like and share. And comment on our video. And subscribe. We have so much more. So coming. I'm very excited to share it with you. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.